we are starting this video pretty late I wanted Harun and Benjamin to go to bed before I started doing my nonsense around the house your Ramadan preparation countdown this will be the video for you because I have started my countdown it is 14 days away until Ramadan and this is the usually time that I start making preparation for Ramadan such as decorating the house, getting the house nice and peaceful to welcome the month of Ramadan it is the most blessing month of the year and um, I want the house to be nice and clean and usually I do this every Ramadan one of the ways that I prepare is decluttering organizing everything and making sure that the house is the most peaceful place to be in not that it's usually not a peaceful place to be in but just to make sure it's that extra peaceful for us to inshallah connect and uh, make the most of the blessing month so um today i'll be sharing what i have brought and uh how the decoration that i'm going to be using and yeah that's what i'm going to be doing i have quite a lot of bed sheet covers we have seven beds in this house and uh, times that by bed sheet pillowcases uh duvet covers that is quite a lot and uh, I, at the moment we keep everybody's bed sheet covers in one place and then I just stack it up as Khalil, Yunis, Harun, Binyamin and uh, myself and Salman actually it's a six bed it's not seven beds because two people in this house share a bed so it's actually a six bed um, I bought these storage uh, bags which my friend uses and she just keeps it under the bed or in her cupboard and I just thought that would be so handy so I bought these they're quite wide and quite big um, what I love about these is that they are covered so no dust will go into our bed sheet covers and uh, let me show you guys so we're going to organize the bed sheet covers and then we're going to move downstairs These are absolutely amazing and they hold so bloody much. Let me move back and show you guys. Like, so many stuff are in here right now. And I just feel like, like this, I'm able to access it real quick and uh, know where to put what. And what I usually do is when I'm done with the bed sheet cover this week, I put it at the bottom and then we just take it from there onwards. Cause usually what i find myself doing is because it's so crowded in that cupboard i'll wash this bed sheet cover and i'll put on the one that i took off last week that's already washed like the rest never gets touched that's why the bed sheet covers always look like i'm using the same one because that's the easy one to reach but now with this i'm able to flick through and see what we put on this week and then hopefully put on one that we haven't recently put on but yeah i just feel like this is this is this this is needed in every household i promise you this is the kids one and then that one is salman and munira and i i'm gonna go ahead and move downstairs now because downstairs <laughs> and my husband comes up and he's like you just done this two days ago like what are you doing but there's no clutter there's no dirt i'm just need to decorate and then we are done and off for the night look how pitch black it is outside there you go stored it up nicely right i just want to put a little bit perfume on you guys because i just want to put a little perfume on right so picking up from where we left off last night last night you know me i started one job and led to another and then led to another and then i couldn't i couldn't come downstairs i couldn't lift a finger and i was like okay i'm gonna stop right here and then continue tomorrow morning and that's where we are right now ramadan is right around the corner it's literally on the next street so it's about to knock on our door sooner than we actually think um today i wanted to share with my ramadan decoration and the pieces that i picked up for ramadan this year has been a mayhem for me only in the second month of this year and it's just been madness 
So I'm going to be sharing my Ramadan decoration as well as the bits and bobs that I got for Ramadan. I started saving my Ramadan decoration where before I just used to buy a few stuff and then by the end of Ramadan it used to fall apart and then I used to chuck it away. But first and foremost, let's appreciate my Bati and Gabasar. This is a high quality Bati. I have never seen a Bati like this. The material is not a Bati sort of material and it's not a Dirah. It is very soft and it just floats off your body it just literally floats off um, it's not slippery this is my bati and gabasar is a matching bati and gabasar set it's just absolutely gorgeous it's gorgeous you guys and uh, like like i said it's not a dirac it feels like a dirac but a little bit softer. My best friend and I were hunting for a luxury bartis. Uh, I am tired of the bartis because after a few washes, it's just, you know, it's just not my style. I want things to look new every time that I put it on. And this definitely going to give me that. Hubby's about to walk through. Hubby's about to walk through. Yeah, two sizes. Now you can't put it in. <laughs> You know that feeling that you get when you wear a new body, how it looks and everything? Well, after a first wash, it doesn't look like that. But with this, you're definitely going to get it. I found this lady on Instagram. Um, I believe she lives in Kenya. I believe. Um, but she does have a family that she sends it to in the UK that sell it for her. So we got it for this. And you guys, you won't even believe the pricing. It is so affordable, you won't even believe it. This is my pot I had for several years, you can see. I don't even mind the outskirt of it, but the inside is peeling off and it's becoming a health hazard. I was watching this video on TikTok and he said, if your pot start peeling, you need to get rid of it. Let's get into it. So before we do the decoration, I wanna share the stuff that I brought. I brought this pot. From Ikea I like I explained previously I have never bought my own pots and pans myself it's always been passed down to me from family members um, but yeah this is a bit heavy which indicates it's a good quality like my mom says my mom actually weighs the pots and pans before she buys and then that's how she judges the quality of them but it looks like this you guys and uh, this will not be peeling off and i double checked and i tripled to see if this is going to be peeling off but yeah this will definitely last me a long time i'll actually show you guys exactly like this one and i've had it for nine years i kid you not let me show you guys this is exactly the same as this this is from ikea my sister gave it to me um I had this for nine years and the quality is still there and that's why I'm not going to chuck it away. One thing I love is the lid. The lid in any glass lid will do me nicely. I don't want people to think that I'm just buying things for the sake of buying things. I'm showing you what I'm replacing, what I'm actually replacing. I'm not just buying things for the sake of buying things because we do not have money like that. You have to understand. But when I replace things, I replace it because the item before that is not useful anymore. And uh, this one right here, this one right here has created its own pattern look at this look at this this has been this is the one i was talking about that's been in the family for over 20 years yeah this has been in the family for 20 years and uh, it has created you see all of this blackness it has a texture to it and uh, it's been in the family for a long time now and um, i have khalil that has learned how to make himself omelette and stuff on the pan he is the most fussiest child you'll ever meet he has to triple wash what i have already washed before he uses it for instance when he wants to drink a glass of water he actually goes under the tap and washes it before he gets himself a cup of water he's like that so he doesn't want to make omelette anymore on that pan he's like mommy it just grows even though when you make something on that pot the quality and the taste and the texture is just amazing oh so, 
in order for my son to carry on learning how to cook i had to buy a it is a little bit heavy i feel like for him this is from ikea also this is another pot that i have picked up i can't wait to cook in them because they're gonna look absolutely gorgeous during ramadan we tend to use quite a lot of bowls whether it's for fruits whether it's going to be shurba <laughs> shurba is well, how do you say shurba shurba is like porridge but with the stew in it how do you say shurba i don't know i don't know you guys might have to google what shurba is but we tend to have quite a lot of shurba during ramadan i also like to give my children soup just to make sure that you know their body is functioning i also love to give my children quite a lot of soup which is marakh um we use this for fruits we use it for shurba we use it for dessert and i just thought they'll be amazing and they were so unaffordable they were one pound fifty each from ikea the stuff that i picked up are very essential for ramadan as well as everyday life i picked these up the last one actually broke the other day in the sink because when the juice finished someone put it in there and then benjamin recently started taking his plate or whatever he uses and we taught him to put it in the sink so he chucked something in there that broke the last one um but i have told the whole family not to put glasses like these in the sink because of benjamin learning how to put stuff away in the sink after he's done with them um so yeah i like to juice some watermelon during ramadan i like to juice quite a lot and this is going to come really handy and then i just leave this on the table uh, after iftar because the children do get quite a lot thirsty and um that is actually all i brought from ikea so this is everything that i'm going to be using to decorate it's not a lot but i think this will be absolutely fine knowing that i haven't picked up anything new this year but these little lanterns oh my goodness i fell in love with this this reminds me of my childhood and it's just so adorable and uh, and then these are going to go up on the wall this is the children's uh, countdown calendar i put all the stars away and then they get to count down by covering the number and uh, like so this is what they're going to be doing this i picked up from tiktok shop um i thought it was going to be actually quite large but turns out it is a little teeny weeny <laughs> item um i originally wanted to put my samosas in but i guess no maybe i can put my little bajiz in there because the children don't like that much bajiz only myself and salman that eat bajio so yeah a few bajio about 10 it can hold about 10 if you queue them up these are the plates that i brought during december last year and i've just put it in the shed in the balcony and uh, it got a little bit wet um these are the plates they are gorgeous they're quite big The man just wash them and uh, dry them for me. Isn't he a sweet? That is how it looks. Look at you with your camis on. Did you miss training? Hey, Bini! It is so cute with your kamish! Yeah! So you have online 6 to 7 or 5 to 6? 6 to 7. Ask Hanane. If she does 6 to 7. What are you doing to the baby, Khalil? Again? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... Hey, what is this boy doing? Get away! Can you move? 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 Can you Oh, this thing. You just have to come out there. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is just a little idea. If you have not yet started on your decoration, maybe perhaps you still have another one. Sylvan <laughs> is so hungry. At the end of the video, I hope that you have enjoyed. This is just to give you a little inspiration on what to get for decoration if you have not yet decorated and you're stuck like I was myself. Um, then I went on YouTube and found a few videos that helped me out. So hopefully this video will be for you and it will help you out inshallah. Uh, how tall are you? Why are you looking at me like that? Basically your height. Yeah, basically my height. This little man is growing too fast for me. Oh my god. Love it. Yeah you guys. My children and hubby are very very hungry. It's dinner time right now. What's the time? You guys met the time is 4.56. It's only 4.50 and you guys are acting like no, the most I'm hungry food. Okay, go on, go on, eat, go on, eat. You guys, we didn't just decorate. We also made an iftar. I know we're not fasting. We also made an iftar so that the children can just get into it and, you know, have the feeling and the smell. As soon as they came from school, they were like, Mum, it smells like Ramadan. So I'm glad that they know what Ramadan smells like. All the frying food, all type of foods. So it's really nice you guys, we're going to dig in and we're going to eat. Um, everything that I decorated with is from a few years ago. I don't know if I'll find the link for them. Um, but I will tell you the stores that I purchased each item from. I remember the store, but I don't have the specific link. If you have made it to the end, thank you so much you guys. And I know that we have a few new faces in the comment section and a new subscribers. You guys, welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. And for all my loyal subscribers, thank you so much for returning. It really does make a difference. So thank you so much and uh, happy early Ramadan you guys.